disabling services that you do not use can potentially reduce the attack surface and improve performance. Here are seven Windows services that can be considered for disabling if they are not needed. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. To view a list of all services in their current state, type SC query. Running SC query without specifying a service name will list information about all services installed on the system. This command is useful for troubleshooting, monitoring service statuses, and scripting tasks related to Windows services. To disable a service, use the SC command, followed by the service name, start and disable. Disable secondary logon service. Type SC config SEC logon start disabled. By disabling the ability to run commands or applications with different credentials, the risk of privilege escalation attack is minimized. This means that even if a user account is compromised, the attacker cannot easily escalate their privileges to an administrative level. Disable remote registry or less needed for remote administration. Type SC config remote registry start disabled. By disabling remote registry, you prevent unauthorized users from remotely modifying critical registry settings. This reduces the risk of malware infecting or compromising your system through remote registry changes. Disable print spooler if you do not use a printer. Type sc config spooler start. disabled. The Print Spooler service has historically been a target for security vulnerabilities. In recent years, vulnerabilities like Print Nightmare have targeted the Print Spooler service. Disabling it mitigates the risk associated with such vulnerabilities. Disable Windows Remote Management. Only disable if you do not use remote management features. Type SC config win rm start disabled disabling the winrm service reduces the number of remote entry points available to potential attackers winrm is a protocol used for remote management and if it's not in use disabling it can mitigate the risk of remote exploits and unauthorized access disable windows live id service type sc config wlid SVC starts disabled. Windows Live ID service handles authentication for Microsoft accounts. By disabling it, you prevent potential attackers from exploiting authentication vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to your accounts or system. Disable Superfetch. This disables caching of files and programs for faster startup. Type SC config. S-Y-S-M-E-I-N start disabled. The sysmin is designed to preload frequently used applications into memory, which can inadvertently leave sensitive data in memory. Disabling this service can reduce the risk of sensitive data being exposed or accessed by malicious processes. Disable client-side caching of network files. Type SC config CSC service starts disabled disabling offline files ensures that all users access data directly from the network source maintaining a single point of truth and reducing the chances of data discrepancies or corruption due to synchronization issues 